you and two others. So these two others, they could be talking about a twin flame and a soulmate. They could be talking about a third party situation or they could be talking about a polyamorous situation. So let us have a look here. Your energy, what do we need to know for you at this time? For the viewer, please. For the viewer, what do we need to know? We have got the Queen of Cups. For person number one, let's have a look here. What do we need to know about the energy of person number one, please, spirit? Person number one. Oops. Okay, we have got the Ace of Crystals. And then person number two, what do we need to know? about person number two please Ooh, lots of fumbling on <laughs> sorry i'm working from such a tiny little space trying to get it all on camera but let's have a look person number two what do we need to know please about their energy at this time we have got the seven of wands This is you showing up as someone who is very loving and very giving. As someone who is highly empathic, with deep intuitive knowing. Now the Queen of Cups is such an interesting card. In a more traditional deck, you would see that the cup itself would have a lid on it. Indeed, the only Cups card in Tarot to have a lid and quite often that would very much symbolizing, internalizing your emotions, literally putting a lid on them and squashing them. However, in this Queen of Cups, we can see that there is no lid. So this is you being very observant of your feelings and of your intuition. Where the traditional Queen of Cups may have this kind of self-sacrificing kind of energy, it certainly does not feel that way within this particular deck. Being open to your emotions, and if I bring the illustration closer, can we see the hand placement outstretched and allowing these emotions and these intuitions to come through? So I feel that this is you being very guided on your journey and being open to seeing what gifts may come your way. Honoring your emotions and seeing the ripples out into the universe. This energy number one with the Ace of Crystals may be somebody who is relatively new. Or this might be someone who you are still due to meet. Aces talking about new prospects and new possibilities. This really is such a beautiful card. Crystals represent swords in a traditional deck. And the swords, they represent clarity and conversation. And all things related to the mind. Not a traditional meaning, but for me, whenever I have seen the Ace of Swords, I think of commitment this being a finger and this being a ring. So I feel that there are quite strong possibilities between you and this person here. That the both of you get on really well, there is a similarity in your minds and in your thought patterns. You may have similar goals. And it feels like good, easy energy between the both of you. If there is some sort of choice that you are having to make between two, then it feels like this one would be quite certain. Person number two with the seven of wands. This can be quite a combative card. We can see that they are in this guarded and protective stance. So where this one might be more open and communicative, this one may again have their walls up. Let's pull a couple more cards and see what else we can pick up here. So for your energy, we have got the two of pentacles. Interesting. For person number one, we have got page of stars. And person number two, we have got six of cups. Beautiful cards. 
So for you with the two of pentacles, it can be talking about trying to find a balance and can often represent a card of having to make certain decisions. Once again, going back to a more traditional card, we would actually see an infinity band wrapping around these two coins, these two pentacles. And that to me has often signified that you may have an eternal bond with more than one person, such as in a dynamic of a twin flame and potentially a soulmate. Or even if this is a third party situation, while on physical earth it may feel awkward, it is very possible that the three of you work together as a trio in many other timelines and have all sorts of different soul bonds to one another. For person number one as a page of stars, again, it feels like a newer energy. And again, it's talking about clarity and communication, the pages being the messengers within tarot. Once again, the bond with this person does seem very natural and very easy. A fluid connection that really does feel like a gift. And there may be this very deep sense of loyalty to one another. One tiny little detail that I'm being drawn to is the anklet. Now, in some relationship dynamics, the anklet would symbolize a commitment. So I absolutely get this type of energy of a commitment to one another. Whether you are already in a committed relationship or whether they are going to come through and offer some kind of commitment to you. And we can see all of these little leaves and even her dress represent the fall colors. So I feel like this commitment has come either during this autumn season or will come within this month. It is significant and it is beautiful. Then let's have a look at this person number two. With the six of cups, there is also much love here. And the Six of Cups to me has often spoken of soul companionship. Now, some of the traditional meanings of the Six of Cups is talking about somebody from the past returning. One of the traditional meanings of the Six of Cups is speaking of someone from the past returning, whether that is past from this lifetime or whether you have spent other lifetimes with this person. And although there is this potential for this really sweet energy between the both of you, it feels like one or both of you may have guards up towards the other. It certainly could be that, or from another perspective, it could be that this particular person has a lot of love for you and they feel like it is their responsibility to protect you. So this may be speaking about someone who has been a really good companion to you. It feels more so like this is the direction that you're going. If you have to choose one, then this is the direction. Towards this person, there's some sort of commitment um, to one another, a physical commitment to one another. Whereas this one here, there may be much love between the both of you and you may have lived other lifetimes together. And there are a lot of nostalgia and memories that you have maybe created together. So you may have found yourself in some sort of dilemma here with this two of pentacles of what to do, how to balance out these friendships and these beautiful soul bonds that you have with others. Just to mention that all three of these decks are linked within my bio. You will find both of these decks here linked under tarot stack and then subcategory of dreamy moons. And then this is the gorgeous Tredivia deck. Once again, this is a collective reading and therefore it will not resonate with everybody. So please always listen to your own intuition as to whether this reading is for you. I am in between travels and I have opened up just a couple of extra spots for private readings. So you will again find all of the links to those within my bio.